looks like it's been cracked. It is really peculiar how the rocks will take their shapes. Those little lines and faults that look like somebody's just carved them up. That rock is just flat on the side. And it looks like it came from Right on up there, somewhere. Now look how this rock is sliced. And then how some of the slices have just fallen away. That's something. Well, it's great to have a, a cloudy day today because this is not a place for summertime hiking. Yeah. I don't know, it's difficult for me to call. Is that something Weather's... historic or? Something modern. Look at the detail. All the little bubbles in there. Right. Gotta be. Maybe somebody will tell me. Wow, the cool air is just awesome. Trying to catch that hawk gliding, but he's far too camouflaged against the rock background. Isn't he graceful though? Wow, he almost hit those rocks. Speaking of rocks, the idea that these rocks are solid is just an illusion. Look. They're just little thin plates, very fragile. Hmm. And these are probably some of the biggest boulders I've seen. I think there's a cave underneath it. Oh my, there's all kinds of critters living up in there. Well, which ones are historic and which ones are not? Somebody literally put their family tree, July the 24th to August the 2nd, 1902. Huh. But what's in the background is the fainter markings, authentic tribal, are they?
This rock definitely looks granite. This is an awesome shelter. Cool, shady. Wow, the air temperature just changed drastically. You think some of this dark is soot from fires? I would imagine so. You don't think this up here is a grain grinding hole, is it? Possibly. And down here, it's kind of flat and goes back a ways also. Like this would be a good place to sleep. Oh yeah. Wow, this is pretty spectacular. that okay you tell me how authentic is that is there anything else here is there anything back here oh somebody's walking on the other side You've gotta be quiet that the sun is not out. Oh, there's something. Oh my goodness. How big is that? I think they'd have uh, these sensitive things roped off. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is what 12 or 15 years been coming out here and never ever heard of this place. Just stumbled upon it. In front of you there is a couple of pour offs. There's a crevice one here, and then there's the one from the top there. See that cascades across those rocks, and it comes into this wash. And the wash really is becoming a small canyon. Well, there's definitely a sign of life out here. That's awful loose dirt. And it looks straight down. It's a slide down. This is like complete granite right here. Yeah, I see the size of those needles on those bushes. Wow. Should I? 
Nope, I got a stick in one hand, a camera in another hand, and a heavy water bottle over shoulder. I'm way off balance. Nope. There's a foundation over there. There's a house foundation. Okay, maybe I'll have to go. I'm not a damn mountain goat. I'm not going across that levee again. How long do you think it'll be before this rock, well, moves? Its foundation is just dirt. And there's lots of erosion on each side. Yep, it's an ever-changing environment, isn't it? Ever-changing landscape. Very interesting. Okay, so that hike back across that little canyon was a little intimidating, so I decided to take a wash. And now the wash has turned into a bigger wash. Yep, that is a blue bonnet fixing to happen. Oh my goodness, this one is happening. Well, these two are happening too, man. Look, these are much bigger. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see those. Wow. How neat. Okay, get my bearings here. We're off of the uh, big wash now. And walking through a very tight runoff trying to get back to where I can get my bearings to where the car might be parked of course we're nowhere close but we'll see I gotta have a margarita this is better than when I was hiking the Grand Canyon, though. I had to stop every few feet to smoke a cigarette back then. Let's climb up here and get our bearings here. Oh, that's one thing about this area. You can bushwhack if you want. My better change to say that you can bushwhack if you're brave enough. Yeah, we. I got a little too far off. That giant gully that I was trying to avoid is directly in front of me. Oh my. Oh my. The water, the, the pour off is over there. Over there. Oh, no, but this canyon, oh, there's those three people. There's the canyon here that we were trying to avoid. Well, no, I don't know, I'm lost. That's the gorge I was trying to avoid. There's no way of getting around it. Well, there's a way of getting around it. There's no way to avoid it. Well, we're gonna go around that mountain there. Go that way. Catch my breath. I wasn't expecting cliffs to be on the right side. Yeah, we're just gonna get around this little little mountain here. Well, I'm very fortunate that it's not flash flood season, and this is a wonderful way to walk, but I think I'm getting off course. Well, I made it to the top of this ridge. I'm breathing a little hard. Oh, well, I think I'm still parked on the other side of that area there. But when we first got here, we walked all along this ridge here, all the way around, around that side over there where we saw the pour off. Went across the pour off and then out into the desert there. And then came back around here, caught the gully, and came up on the other side of this ridge. And then came over the ridge right here to where I am now. So, 
yeah, I can't believe I'm still standing. Such is life. So, it looks like we made it to the main trail. Back of the red boulders. Okay. That was a, a bit of a hike. I see the car. So that's a good sign that I'm actually still walking on two legs instead of down on all fours. Yep. All right. Through this fun, fun gate. All right. Right. Good job, Jeff. Good job. Yay. Yay. Jeffrey made the hike. Yay. We're locking everybody else out of the car. Bye. This is one of the lavender prickly pears. I don't know what it's called, but it's very interesting and you'll see lots of them out here. They'll go to a glowing lavender to a dark purple, depending upon, I guess, the amount of water they have in sunshine. It's a hairy little sucker, isn't it?